story time in Newcastle West Library. Our book for today is A Dare for a Hare. It's written by Charlie Farley and the illustrations are done by Leanne Marlowe. This beautiful book is published by Orchard Books. So I hope you enjoy the story, A Dare for a Hare. Sunrise in the fields, a spring fills the air, lightning a hollow, home of the hare. Where two brothers yawn as the sun warms their fur, stretching long legs beginning to stir. First Harvey, the youngest, who just loves to play, to leap and to lollop through each boisterous day. Then big brother Buster, who'd rather just nap, and is meant to keep Harvey from any mishap. Oh, Harvey, sighs Buster, stop rushing around. I'm having a snooze, so don't make a sound. But I'm Harvey the hare, as brave as a bear. Oh, come on and play, Buster. Please give me a dare. OK, Buster says, if I give you a dare, will you let me sleep and keep out of my hair? Yes, I'm Harvey, so there, as brave as a bear. Nothing can scare me. I'm the world's bravest hair. I dare you to snatch a peach from the farm. Keep clear of the cat, whose claws do such harm. Climb up Bear Ridge, cross the bridge and creek moor, and you'll be the bravest of hares evermore. Oh dear, off he goes on a big adventure. But as Harvey speeds off to dare number one, Buster thinks, oh no, what have I done? I'll follow him closely, but keep out of sight, just to make sure that my brother's all right. Harvey bounds onwards with no time to stop, to the farm with a jump, and a skip and a hop, where he sees the farm cat, a fiery fat beast, known to enjoy a hare as a feast. Oh, Harvey, you'd better be careful. I'm Harvey, so there, as brave as a bear. Cats don't scare me. I'm the world's bravest hare. And Harvey slinks slyly through stacked apple kegs, past strawberries, chicken coop, Hens laying eggs, then triumphantly back a peach in his paws, when fierce cat pounces, bristling with claws. But Buster clamps down and cat's twisting tail, who stops in his tracks with a howl and a wail, while Harvey runs on, not the faintest idea that Buster is keeping his path safe and clear. Isn't he lucky to have a brother to look after him like that? So Harvey heads up onto Bear Ridge over Creek Moor to the rickety bridge. I'm Harvey the hare, as brave as a bear. No, I'm braver. No bear could give me a scare. Then Harvey stops still. His hat skips a beat. There's a thing in his pat. He did not plan to meet. Scary and snarly, sharp claws on each paw, towering tall, with a very loud roar. Oh dear. But Harvey is truly determined to win. I won't lose this dare, so he sticks out his chin. He musters his courage and closes his eyes and races past bear, even though it's very unwise. Buster's dumbfounded as bear turns to chase, frozen in fear at the hare racing pace. A quick shake of his tail gives Buster a jolt. I have to help Harvey. This is all my fault. So as Harvey runs to the bridge and the creek, big bear on his tail, small legs, growing weak. Buster bites down and the bridge is worn rope and the bridge shakes to wobble. There's a glimmer of hope. And as Harvey jumps off to land on the ground, 
ears over eyes as he daren't look around. He hears bear howl, then an almighty splash. Big bear in the river, the bridge toppling crash. I think he has escaped. Buster rushes to Harvey and gives him a hug. Come here, little brother, give my ears a tug. Harvey looks up, pulls his brother near, and whispers, I win, in Buster's big ear. I got a peach, beat the cat, crossed Creek Moor. You win, Buster smiles, you're the bravest for sure. But Buster says, Harvey, I met a real bear, so grumpy and grisly, he gave me a scare. Buster looks at his brother, so small and so frail, called up so tired at his trembling tail. No more dares, I'll never leave your side. That suits me, Harvey smiles. Let's doze on the plain. And slowly the brother hairs amble back home, whiskers just touching, brave hearts fully grown. As shadows get longer, the sun slips away. Light turns to silver as night takes the day. And two scruffy hairs make one soft brown ball. Adventures to dream as sleep starts to fall. And half asleep Harvey nuzzles his brother's ear. I know when you're with me, I've nothing to fear. You're Buster the Hare, as brave as a bear. No better, big brother, not anywhere.